guys, President Clash here. Welcome to another video. And today, I have some Overwatch gameplay in the background, like my other Pokemon video from two days ago. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks on how to catch the last five legendary Pokemon, which at this point, no person has caught. And these are five confirmed Pokemon to be in the game. And there is another one that's really hard to find. Uh, I believe the name is Ditto. A uh, very prominent Pokemon, mostly everyone knows about this Pokemon, the copy type Pokemon. Uh, that's not really a legendary, but it's a really cool card that's also very hard to find, but that's not for this video. Uh, what I want to tell you guys in this video is how you guys can find Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres, Mewtwo, and Mew. And uh, at this point, no human, per no person who has downloaded the game has caught these Pokemon, despite millions of players joining and playing the game in the past week. No one has seen it, no one has encountered or captured these legendary Pokemon. Because you have to be very specific in these locations, you have to be right on top of them, you have to be literally at the right time, right place. And it's extremely rare to catch. That's why a lot of people struggle to find these Pokemon, whether or not you have all 145 Pokemon at this point. Obviously it's 151, but if you have 145, now at this point in the game you're looking for legendary Pokemon. And that's going to be your number one goal, and what I'm going to do right now is tell you where you can find these Pokemon. And how you're going to do this is basically you need to have some knowledge from the other Pokemon games. Not mobile games, the games on Nintendo DS and Game Boy. Most recently, Nintendo DS. And you want to compare these locations to real life. You want to move these in-game locations to real life. Let me give you an example. Zapdos in the game, Pokemon games, uh, generally was located near a power plant in some Pokemon city near a river. The power plant was right next to the river and it was just a little tiny little ditch uh, right behind it and that's where Zapdos was just standing there. So it's likely that Zapdos is near some power plant but obviously you need to find the right power plant. So you're going to have to keep on looking and find the power plant near a river likely in the US or wherever you are, uh, wherever your servers are, uh, you need to go and you're going to you know, try to you know, find this Zapdos. And I, I know uh, the game is not supposed to be too far, you don't want to go too far. If a power plant is two hours away, give up. Don't even try going there. You don't need to waste your time you know, driving and doing all this stuff. Even if you're a little kid, you don't want to tell your mom to go all the way over there just for a Pokemon and say that's the wrong power plant. Who knows? Uh, but if you have a power plant uh, nearby, if it's a walking distance, and even if it's not a walking distance, even if it's 30 minutes away, I think that's pretty reasonable. Uh, if you happen to go by, if you happen to pass by a power plant, you might want to just stop on the highway or like, you know, pull over and maybe you can look for a Pokemon. That's probably the best way you can do it. So if you want to find a Mew, well, Mews are generally found uh, in the game near really, really tall trees uh, in the game's Trees are connected to Mew, just like they're connected to Jirachi and, you know, a couple other Pokemon. Um, but, you know, trees, you know, trees are very important. So look for really tall trees in, uh, you know, areas. Uh, there have been some, yeah, yeah, there actually has not been any location confirmed for the location of Mew. However, uh, in, wherever you are, just look some, for some really tall trees and I'm sure you're going to be able to have a little bit of luck in finding Mew. So now from Mewtwo. The only location people have identified is it is that Mewtwo has been seen in the Los Angeles area. So yeah, this is actually completely true. I did verify it and look for examples and pictures on Twitter and looked at people's uh, interpretations and online articles. And the location so far, only one sighting has been seen, and that sighting was like it almost literally disappeared. It just showed on the nearby indicator. And it was just basically a Mewtwo in the Los Angeles area. I'm not exactly sure where it's in downtown or in the hills, who knows. But that's the location somewhere in Los Angeles. So unfortunately, if you're not in Los Angeles, I don't know what to say to you. Uh, now if you want to find Articuno and Moltres, that's quite simple. Just transfer what I told you for Zapdos. You need to look inside the games to see where they are. So uh, I believe Articuno was found in a bunch of ice caves and I believe, uh, I actually forgot where Moltres was found, but just do some research, just google it and find out where it was in the game and then just transfer that to real life. So that's all I gotta say for this video, thank you guys so much for watching, if you have not seen my last video, there is actually one unconfirmed Pokemon which is actually in the game and it's called Rayquaza, another legendary Pokemon, but it's the only Pokemon that's actually located in space. And yes, there are space servers. 
uh, the only way you can do it uh, as well, I can't tell you in this video you guys have to watch my other video to do that the link will be down in the description below thanks for watching and see you guys next time bye